Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, chances are good you've heard a loud sound coming from Australia and the islands region. These sounds are the calls from our gibbons. Gibbons are a small species of ape found in Southeast Asia. Their calls are some of the loudest in the animal kingdom. The gibbons and siamang calls can be heard up to two miles away. Here at the zoo, we have two species of gibbon. We have our white-handed gibbon family, Leo, Shawnee, and their daughter, Sienna. And we have our siamangs, Olga and Rashid. Siamangs are the largest species of gibbon. Gibbons are super amazing animals. They pair bond, they mate for life. They're a small species of ape. They're also known as lesser apes. Um, they get through the trees in a form of locomotion called brachiation. So they can swing hand over hand at about 30 miles an hour and leap about 50 feet in one go. They're also habitual um, at walking bipedally, so they're able to walk upright uh, on the ground when they're traveling on the ground as well. But one of the coolest things about gibbons is their songs. In the wild and here at the zoo, we hear singing from our gibbons. They call and sing to each other to establish territory, reinforce pair bonds, to communicate with each other throughout the territory, let each other know if there's something alarming going on in the territory, and to defend their territory. Gibbons and Siamangs have very different calls. They have a wide range of vocalizations. Gibbons tend to have a more hoo 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 hooping call. Siamangs have extremely loud duets where they sing back and forth to each other. The male screams and the female barks. And their call is actually enhanced by a throat sac that allows the call to be heard for about two miles. Unfortunately, gibbons are endangered in the wild. Their primary forest in the Southeast Asia has been decreased about 70 to 80 percent in the last 50 years, and their wild population has decreased about 50 percent in the last 40 years. The primary threat that gibbons face in the wild is deforestation due to palm oil farming, as well as other logging activities in the area. But there are things that you at home can do to help gibbons in the wild. Palm oil is found in a variety of products, from makeup to your groceries. On your next shopping trip, opt for products that use a sustainable yield palm oil. If you're interested in how to choose and select your sustainable yield palm oil products, check out the Columbus Zoo's website, columbuszoo.org.